Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we will be playing through episode 4 of Life is Strange 2. The last episode ended on quite the cliffhanger, so I actually have no idea what I have in store. I'm very nervous, and this whole game just makes me very nervous and sad, and that's Life is Strange in a nutshell. So it's going to be an adventure. Thanks for joining me for it. Take a second before we begin to like the video, and I'll give a huge shout out to our patron of the day, Joshua. Joshua, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. You have no idea how much it means to me, but I will try to put it into words that it is like gold, pure gold fills my heart and then overflows and just like sparkles throughout my body. That's how grateful I am for your support. And um, you know, that I'm just gonna stick with that, with that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joshua, for supporting me on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. And uh, it helps me make high quality content better and faster. So I really appreciate that. And now let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Ah! And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them. And everybody Aww. loved the little wolf. I love seeing how they're all different growing up fast. types of dogs. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. They had their own adventures. Suddenly, the main farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded and worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. That's right. We don't know where Daniel is. He wasn't shown. Oh, man. So where does that leave us? I wonder. Oh, he got a haircut. Oh, he found Daniel. Or 
Oh no. This hey, is Sean. This is the clothes they left in. So this is I from a previous to. episode. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Do you think Daniel's wearing when the shirt? To stop me from going with Finn. Wait, what? I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? Is this a dream? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Now don't the get question so close is, to that edge. whose dream is this? Sean or Please. Daniel's? Come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. Seems like Sean's. <gasps> no, I don't want to see that. Stop. Uh oh. Oh no, we're in a hospital. Oh no. They're going to try and make us two months? You've been in the hospital for two months? How are we going to pay for this? Daniel. How have we not been kicked out because we have no insurance? I've been having these nightmares since I came out of the He cold. was in a coma? Oh my gosh. What happened to Finn and Cassidy? Oh my gosh. This is a lot. This is a lot. I'm just going to say this is a lot. Yay. Stupid reality shows. You don't have to watch those. You could watch something else. This must be my punishment. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. Oh. This sucks ass, man. Date, March 26, 2017. Was in a coma for weeks. Blind and fucked. Plus, in police custody. See, that's what I was wondering about. Ugh, come on, man. Yeah, the hospital saved his life, but now he's in police custody. He's going to jail soon. And Daniel's nowhere to be found. Hospitals freak me out. Yeah, me too. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. March 30th, 2017. Tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing gives me an immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Oh. <sighs> Gosh, I just have chills for how bad I feel for him. April 3rd, 2017. Special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion. So he's out there alone. Oh. April 11th. Happy birthday, Daniel. Wherever you are, Ananel. <laughs> you missed his birthday. April 15th. Claire and Steven sent me a nice letter. So lonely, I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. Glad he's doing fine. Okay, so Chris is doing fine. That's good. He got hit by a car because of us and our choices, so that sucked. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. April 20th, wish I could hear Cass play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. April 25th, I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. The guilt that haunts this poor boy. 
It just breaks your heart. So we're gonna give our best shot at, I guess, drawing a landscape, which is not what any of our sketches have been so far. Our other sketches have been portraits of people. So hard to focus. <sighs> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start, but I can keep going. So the whole, you know, when I focus, I get migraines thing. That is evidence of a concussion where the brain has been so injured that it's, this is not a medical explanation, but it's a very like simplified way of explaining it. The brain basically is like, we're just going to shut down so that we can focus on healing and not processing. And that's why he went into the coma. I don't know why he went into the coma, but that's why it's really hard for him now when he tries to focus, he gets migraines because the brain is having a really hard time healing while also doing complex processes. And so focusing on anything is really hard for him. It's, it's physically painful to focus. Find a highway to freedom. Yeah, thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Uh, I'm gonna guess we don't trust the FBI because what we don't want is Daniel to be, and this is what we've said over and over again, we don't want Daniel to be experimented on or taken into custody and, and not have control of his own life, of his own freedom. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Okay, we got Cassidy a letter so from much. Cassidy. Wish I could hold her. Howdy, city boy. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago, so I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. I truly hope you are okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Merrill's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma healing and what the doctors call blast lung injury hurting. Just glad I can still play guitar and sing, not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed. As I'm sure you know, my sweet compadre, still working on that Espanol, missed my lessons and my teacher. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. Finn? What happened to Finn? Finn, Finn lived in our, what? Did Finn run? Finn didn't end up in the hospital? So with Finn and you gone, our rail family is kind of broken up. 
Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blues songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked again under a new moonlight. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. And her terrible wolf tattoo. Glad Steven's leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Gosh, they have grandparents writing. Sean, we are grateful to find out that you are safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital, but we want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say that you woke up from that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember, you are family and we love you. We hope to visit you and Jolena Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Stephen. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. So glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you are okay. I am fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast. Forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks. But summer is here and I can play again. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I will be waiting for you, Chris, and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. Ugh. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh. Okay. Guess I'm done. So in the journal, we wrote something like, so glad Joey is here. So Joey seems to be the nurse, and I guess we like him, so. This day feels... Oh, interesting. No stuff. They took all our stuff. They took all our money, too. Man. This sucks. This episode is starting off as a real bummer. Every other day. Just like prison. I'm already impatient. I already did all the other stuff. Call him again. Call, 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 call. Man, this room drives me nuts. Talking to someone will be at least a change. Nurse! Oh, afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. I feel like I recognize that voice actor. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that <sighs> smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, mm, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes, nice retina response. 
Okay, now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Good, good. Keep going. If I fail Quick it, response. do I get to stay? Nice. Sean, you got this. Remember, to see objects on your left side, wow. you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Hey, good job. Okay, let's do it again. Your depth perception will always be affected, so you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Damn, <laughs> you hit a double today. I mean, we failed twice, but sure. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Wow, I hate you already. Sure. Good job. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. I just really quickly want to take a moment to pause here and comment on the fact that they made the medical checks into a sort of mini game. I think that really is an immersive way of putting you in Sean's perspective that has sort of an unintended consequence because when you're doing it, it's so easy to just follow the light. But then you realize that he's had to do this every day. And if it's easy now, it wasn't always easy for him. That he's doing these very simple tasks every day, maybe multiple times a day, for a reason. And how, how must people truly feel when they've had an experience like this that they lose their capability? that they lose their ability to perform things that used to be such simple tasks. And what an effect that must have on you to have to work and practice to just follow a light with your eye. Something so easy for most of us, but also for that own person before this accident and how, what an intensely traumatic experience it must be to not be able to rely on your body for that to be second nature anymore. And then to do the depth perception exercise and to fail at it as much as we did 
which is a perfect, honestly, a perfect direction for the devs to have chosen to go because it's a 2D game. It's a 2D experience. And so for Sean to lose his depth perception and for that to be tested, proving that there were ways that, of course, a dev can, can show depth perception in a game, but they didn't in this case because Sean can't. And how is that gonna affect the rest of the game going forward? So to do that task and to fail it, reminding yourself again at how simple that would have been a mere months ago before the accident, how hard that must be, how much resilience you have to have to overcome that, that self-doubt, that new limitation. That has to be an incredibly difficult experience. And to anybody who's had to go through anything like that, I just so respect your resilience and strength. Because that even just playing through that experience, having not gone through anything like that myself, instantly keyed me in to, to even think about how awful that must be. And I love that about games, man. I love that games can make you do that. Can, can, can just key your brain into experience that you've never had before and make you just have empathy for your fellow man. Or woman. Or non-binary friend. Just the ability that, that storytelling in games has to do that to your heart, to your brain, and give you an experience you've never had before and open your heart to other people and their strengths. That's so amazing. I just had to, to pause for a second and say that because I just felt it. I just felt it. This game has this, mo has this ability to rip open your heart so that it can show you something new, a new way for you to accept something, a new way for you to see and experience something. It's almost like you can't have that new level of understanding if your heart isn't broken open into a million pieces. Really interesting stuff. Okay, let's see, let's, let's see what this gal has to say. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Oh, I hate that. Listen close, Sean. Until you get it right. Tomorrow you're As going to Jolina Shore right. and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me! Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. 
I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? See, this I don't understand. Finn lived in our playthrough. Our choice confirmed that, but then Cassidy's note said, with Finn gone, but this is Finn in a hospital gown. This picture was clearly taken when he was also passed out in the hospital. I don't love that. I don't love the discontinuity of that. I just need that to be a little bit better explained. Finn, it was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help, or did you go along with it? He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. What? Who are you talking about? Your friends are learning the hard way. Penny, Cassidy, I, Cassidy's letter literally says, Cassidy, Penny, and Hannah are just off. They got released without charges. Does that mean Finn is getting charged? Does that mean Finn's in jail? They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah, well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way... We contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. Oh, she didn't want anything to do with this. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Oh, interesting. Okay, Meryl is alive and involved somehow. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Lotus? Yes. Hi. Do you have me call? Are we really just gonna sit here while this is going on? Well, she said enough, then enough. You know the rules, son. No, honey. Is this I is this meant to display how boring it is to be in a hospital bed at someone else's whim? Because trust me, I'm bored. Bonella, will you down the phone, please? Yes. I love you. Hola, mamá. Sí. Es que no sé. Todavía estoy en el hospital y sí. Mañana por la noche. Mi vuelo sale a las nueve. No. Le he dicho que no. Está todo el día. <laughs> well, I don't. Am I supposed to be hearing this? Because it's way too quiet. Like, way too quiet. Bueno. There's not a chance in heck I would be able to hear what she's saying. 
And there's no subtitles on the screen, so. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Wait, I thought we were handcuffed to the bed. Okay, I guess not. Look out, I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. I don't need to see The healing it. is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Yeah, I don't think he's getting a glass eye. I don't I don't think he's paying for that. Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Why was that a choice? Sorry, Why was that a choice? Joy. Oh no! I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. He's gonna get any of this. And wrap it up with clean dressing. I feel like he's not. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. That's a lot. I won't forget. Okay. Sterile gods and saline. Sean. Then Wish swab with cream. Dude, you saved my then ass. Then clean here. dressing. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a chip. Oh shit! Ah, emergency. Pagers. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Okay. I'm a taker. Take. 
Not sure why, but sure. Take. I got a souvenir. Take. I take these gloves. Take. Evacuation plan, eh? Hmm. Instructions for getting out of here. You are here. We would need to turn right all the way down the stairs. Just something to think about. Probably wouldn't take the elevator, especially in a fire. Just something to look at. I'm sure if I was in this hospital room for the past two months, I absolutely would have that memorized. Just because it's something to read. Don't open your dressing. Uh, no, I don't want to see it. Uh, I didn't need that. I just didn't. And it wasn't gory or anything, but I just don't like to see people in pain. I feel they kept it. I me locked in for two months. Except for a daily exercise break. You're here just for me. I'm flattered. Okay. So we would want to turn right if we were to evacuate to the stairs, but the guard's right there, so maybe we'd have to make a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Salvation lies ahead. I thought that's what I saw. Yep. My art is trash now. Oh, poor buddy. What's in this towel? When Joey was like, that towel's got your name on it, I'm like, what'd you put yeah. in this towel? Just want to get out of here. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. His journal. I mean sketchbook, but he does write in it. Wait I know a minute. I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? This sketchbook has the whole story. He might go back to Seattle. Wouldn't the police have confiscated this? Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. I think Daniel went to find Karen because Daniel's the one who kept bringing it up. You know, where's mom? Let's find mom. I want to meet up with mom. Wait, what's that? Haven Point. I gotta get Nevada. to him. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. Okay, time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Nada. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. 
interesting. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Man, why didn't we get a letter from Lila? That makes me curious. Maybe I could, uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Eh, that's a weak plan. I should close these. So nobody sees me sleep walking away. Wish I could just... Walk out. They've been working on these rooms forever. So f my backpack has got to be somewhere around here. You're trying to get your backpack? Sweet dreams, my friend. He's sleeping. Okay. Maybe I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin or something. So many choices. Interesting. Okay. Now, um, I'm a pretty much gonna guarantee that these windows will not be openable. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Need a superhero to open that shit. Here's your teensiest bit of fresh air, but no one can jump out. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. I could slip into one of those rooms under construction. Oh, that's a terrible plan. Oh, I hate this. So you want to... Can't open that window with my bare hands. So you need... A tool to open the window, or we can distract the guard so that we can get into the construction room and climb down the scaffolding. All right, well, we got bed sheets now, whatever that's good for. Anything in here? There okay. must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. <sighs> yeah. That metal bar isn't going anywhere. Yeah, not likely. This one isn't screwed in. I feel I like this is going to be loud. It's going to be loud. Okay. So maybe now we close the curtain. Can I have some privacy, please? This is a very distinct set of events here. We close the curtain. We call the nurse. Bed. Make fake body. Do we really want to do that? Okay. Is that like the best use of the bed sheets? I don't know, but... I guess if you're gonna try... <sighs> that looks so fake. Yeah. But it might work for a second. If it works for a second, then in for a penny, in for a pound. Okay, so now we'll call Joey. Hopefully Joey will distract the guard, grab the grab bar, and then see if that works on the window? Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. The... The big chance for what? If we call Joey and ask him to distract the guard, the guard is going to be awake. But the guard is sleeping right now, right outside the bathroom. And he literally said, if we do the grab bar, it's going to be loud. So I'd rather not risk being loud while the guard is... Maybe... I could get Joey to help me? Asleep? Would he get busted? Alright, we're calling Joey.
Wait, is Joey gonna see the fake body in the bed? Well, this is awkward. It, is, is he coming? Man, it takes this guy forever to come. You got business in there? Patient called. Just gotta see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. <gasps> hey, that's your job. Go for it. The guard's going on a smoke hey. break! There's my second favorite patient. Don't see the <laughs> fake body in the bed. Gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. I am you stressed. You feeling okay? I am not feeling okay. No. My oh no! My fucking eye's killing me. My head hurts. Oh, that's not good. I can get you some painkillers. No, it's just... I need some fresh air. Um, can we take a little walk? Trust me, I love that shit. But your friendly guard would bust us for crashing his smoke break. <sighs> Listen, Joey. I don't Joey, know if we were supposed to trust Joey, I but to get out I didn't want to get him what? in trouble. Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? Joey, I'm so scared. I've never felt like this. Like, I'll be in jail for life, and I'll never see Daniel again. I can't do it, man. I hear you, man. I swear, that kills me to see you in that situation, Sean, but you really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? Exactly. I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joey. I was... I was being selfish. This nurse has very I healthy just, boundaries, by I the way. help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean, I wish I could help you. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look, it's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really gotta get back to my shift. I'm tired already. Hmm. Okay, so that did not go as planned. And I don't know. You have a good night. Where are you walking? Time. Hospitals. First, don't make any noise. Is the guard back from his smoke break? Ah, see, that's <sighs> no good. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a lot of options here. Our our objective says find a way to escape the hospital. So we're either going to get caught or we can't continue the Our game. Windows are secured. But who knows? So I guess... We're gonna try this? I don't know. It's not gonna work. Let's do it. Hey! What the hell are you doing in there? Just hide it. Yeah. 
Nice job, Sean. Now the guard is awake and pissed off. Well, what did you expect from me? I thought we were going to have our opportunity when the guard was on the smoke break. I could trick him into coming in we're here. We're not and doing that. Knock him out? We're trying the window thing. It's not going to go well for us, but we're trying it anyway. <sighs> oh, I guess we'll close this guy. For some privacy, please. Gonna be loud fail. And now what is the question? Are you really gonna shuffle across this ledge? We're gonna die. Don't have an option. Don't like it. Don't like it. We're gonna this die. This is crazy, dude. We're gonna die. Don't freak out. Even wearing our softies. Just mm -mm. get out. Mm -mm -mm. Don't like it. Nope. You are concussed. You are injured. You have no depth perception. Can't, can't do it, can't. Nope, we're going back inside. Nope, nope. No way, I'm not ready to die. Exactly. <sighs> okay, there, ah, I didn't see that. Interesting. Nothing you can use, really? Too bad this isn't a movie. Okay. <gasps> Can't even fit. Man, I was really hoping for anything other than this stupid window solution. Come on. Give me something else. I don't want to ambush the guard. Oh, those are my options? Put myself in more likelihood of being in prison for life, looking very guilty. <sighs> I'm pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. I could trick him into coming no, in here. Not and doing that, Sean. Oh, him out. Well, I have to have faith in plot armor, I guess. This is crazy, dude. Don't freak out. Just get out. I mean, honestly, it would be safer to not try and shuffle along on your feet, but to drop down on your hands like monkey bars and shuffle with your hands. I feel like that would be safer. Stop giving me the option to go back inside. We're relying on plot armor here. And a very, very Don't still think. wind kind of night. Just. Keep going. Holy shit. Uh. Oh. 
Take a breath, dude. You have no- I am clenching my teeth so hard right now. I hate this. Oh, by the way, scaffolding is super loud. Way too close. Oh, we're just not gonna check the windows before we walk by them all willy-nilly? Okay. I have to get my shit from the staff room. Oh, you have to get your stuff from the staff room. I thought we were just trying to escape. Why do you need your stuff to do that, Daniel? Sean, I'm so upset. Ugh. Okay. Guard is sleeping. Oh, now the Should guard's sleeping. Maybe there's someone in the staff room. Were you gonna check that? No? Just loudly let the door close? This... This Sean is clearly injured. At least it's not making me do these sneaky mechanics. Don't you grab a weapon. Don't you do that. Sean! Oh, you're grabbing your medical stuff. Okay, all right. You grab your gauze and stuff. That's allowed. I'll allow it. Ah, yes. Just loudly clomp down with your boots. That's Finn. No way. What? Don't you get seen. What is he doing here? Don't you get seen. We are escaping. We have no we have nothing for Finn. We have nothing for Finn. He gets nothing from us. Are we gonna regret that? Maybe. But I don't care. I do. I do, though. Oh, this game! It's always like, oh, your choices matter. Oh, this is a choice you made that's gonna matter. Oh. My heart can't take it. It's about to burst out of my chest. <sighs> We're totally on the security cams, by the way. This, the hospitals are covered in security cameras. With security guards, they're supposed to be watching them. We better not be taking Joey's car because that would suck mega. That would like extra be salt in the wound. I guess we're going. We can barely, oh, oh, don't hit it. We can literally barely put a pen on top of another pen, and we're gonna drive a motor vehicle. Okay. Oh, my heart. Can't take it. No, 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 do not fall asleep with them. No, 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 no. You take a break. You take a break right now. Do not fall asleep with them. I, oh, I have so much driving anxiety. I cannot explain properly how much I hate this right now. I cannot watch this. Oh my gosh, don't make stupid decisions behind the wheel of a vehicle. Oh. <clears throat>
With the music playing right now, I'm like, is this supposed to be a chill moment? Like, is this supposed to be like a not tension moment? Because all I feel is tension. He has a very injured brain operating a motor vehicle in a very high stress situation. People don't understand how dangerous cars are. I very much welcome self-driving cars, very much. I'm like, get the robots in here to drive me around because people are stupid. And this very intense moment where Sean is looking at the passenger seat, missing his brother, is very emotional. But I, I'm so anxious right now. This is Brianna's personal driving anxiety and he's going towards a cliff. It's great, it's fine. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. <clears throat> but this episode is named Faith, and that's something interesting. <clears throat> I have a pit in my stomach. He hasn't stopped sleep once, and that's a problem for a concussed brain, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> it's fine, it's just a game. It's okay. It's alright, plot armor. It's fine. Tell you what though, most of the welcome to Nevada signs are not that chill. They're very much like, welcome to Nevada, the land of Las Vegas, spend all your money here, casinos are legal, everything is legal, it's Nevada, there are no rules. Bright lights. That's very much how most Nevada signs are. So when Sean opened his sketchbook and said, Haven Point, are you literally smoking right now? You are so dumb. These children, children make such bad choices. You are a recovering injured brain and you're like, hmm, carcinogens? Would you like me to pump you full of tar? Okay, that seems like a good call. I would not be a good mother to this Sean. I would be an angry mother. Guess this is my room for the night. <clears throat> Fuck. My eyes itchy. I should probably clean it before I doze off. Shit. I will never hold until Haven Point. The gas? Or the temperature? What a mess. Flotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Lucky. Lucky. I guess we feel like lucky is maybe not the right word. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital or what? If this is Joey's car, it's gonna suck for us. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. All right, some other person then. Shit, guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Must do list, May 8th, drop off kids, hospital checkup, lunch with hubby, Miss Scott's x-ray slash blood test, pick up kids, night shift. Awkward. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. I guess we could have pressed tab to look in the sketchbook. Okay. So we have a jacket, we have our medical stuff. We have, oh, Daniel's drawing. Okay. <clears throat> Pencil case, wallet with $17 in it, our notes, driver's license, hey, at least we got our license. Not that it will do us any good. Brody's letter, okay. So this is the last page we left out on. 
Meryl the owner, Big Joe the goon. Wait, come back. Come back. Okay. February 23rd, 2017. Had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time and we gotta hide. It's not easy. Oh, okay. So I guess Daniel came in here and scribbled a note. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. Oh no, Jake wrote this. Sean, I wrote, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you. What? Why would Jacob do that? Agent 420, give me hot dogs. Cassidy the Wild versus Hannah the Wise. Me, two-story house shit. Akiranul is freaking me out. So, okay, so what he's saying here is that he drew himself for scale compared to this big root trunk of a, a redwood tree. And he's saying that Daniel was able to lift it up two stories and it's freaking him out. Depressing night, everyone shared their worst memory. Everyone felt like shit. What a wonderful world. Went to bed early again with Daniel. Kinda wish I could have stayed like everyone else though, meh. A fucking woo, I'm a swear wolf. Can that officially replace Swareth, please? <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Daniel messed up again. Gotta fix this shit. So fucking tired of running away. March 26th. Was in a coma for weeks. Blind and fucked. In a police custody. Going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing is an immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Special agent, special secret agent Flores. You're trying to bond with me. We already read these. Mm. Happy birthday, Daniel. <laughs> I'm so sad. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Cass. I let Finn become his brother. Flores tried to frame me again. Can't blame me for trying. Snuck out of the hospital through the window. Wasn't easy with only one eye. Didn't realize how fucking high up I was. Maybe it helped. Ow, shit. I'm not so fit for the trip. Headaches are killing me. Have no cash, no nothing. Chased by so many ghosts. But gotta focus on what's most important. Reach Nevada. Find Daniel. So, so hard to drive. Fucking miracle I haven't been in a wreck yet. That's what I've been saying! <sighs> okay, I feel better. Gonna pull over soon so I can rest. Driving in the dark with one eye is the absolute worst. Would feel a lot safer walking on the edge of a cliff on a moonless night. Okay. So here's our map. With all of the things that we've looked at as collectibles and all of these things as well uh we kept the pen for some reason because they're collectibles i guess okay all right so the whole Haven thing still doesn't make sense to me. Am I supposed to look even farther back? And right there is where we have to end today's video. Unfortunately, so many moments in this playthrough 
that I hope you loved because I sure did and I can't wait to see what's coming up next. So please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. Good stuff coming at ya. That's all. I love you all. Bye!